A couple of weeks ago, we talked about the Milton Historical Society's new exhibition on Milton native Brian Stevenson, the world famous public interest attorney and civil rights activist, visited the exhibit at the Lydia B. Cannon Museum in Milton. That was a couple weeks ago. There's another new Stevenson project in the works, and in true Brian Stevenson fashion, others are going to benefit from it. With us here this afternoon to tell us more about the Brian Allen Stevenson School of Excellence is founder and chairwoman, and by the way, Brian's cousin, this is <laughs> Alana Berry. Thank you so Thank much you for, for joining for us today. Before we get into the school, uh, we had mentioned that the documentary on HBO about Brian it aired last night for the first time. You actually got to go to the New York premiere yes. Monday night. What did you think of the yeah. documentary? Um, I mean, I think it was an amazing experience, and I think um, what inspired me to do the work that I'm doing now and to be here with you all today is that what Brian does well is he uses what he does to inspire others. And I think um, hopefully that documentary will help people kind of challenge what they know about our system and how it operates. Um, but not just think about it, but actually lead to action and go out and do things in their own communities. I think it will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell us more about how the idea for this school came to be. Yeah, that's a great question. So. Um, it actually all sprung out of actually the passing of Brian's father um, about two years ago. Um, and we were all kind of challenged with what's our role here um, in our community um, in Delaware. Um, what, how can we do similar work or have action for our own community? And so um, from that came this notion of like, what would it look like if we founded a school? A lot of members of my family are educators outside of our um, attorney, Brian Stevenson. Um, and around the same time, I also had the opportunity to be in a national fellowship focused on rural schools. Um, and so had the opportunity over a year's time to literally travel from New Mexico to Indiana, uh, to Eastern wow. North Carolina, um, and see schools across the country in rural communities and what they were doing. So literally started on a reservation in New Mexico. Um, and it was what I had learned, and I think what is true generally is that um, people study urban schools a lot. People don't study rural schools enough. Um, and rural schools have all the same challenges as urban schools, but they also have the added challenge of geography, right? Access to things. And what I saw across the country that rural schools were doing really well is ensuring that the school was the hub for everything. And so that kids could access healthcare, they could access um, food, they could access everything that they needed. The families could, could all come to one place and get their needs met. Um, and so from that, we uh, started thinking about what could an innovative rural school look like in Sussex County, Delaware. How could you make it happen? So yeah. how, how, tell us about the school itself. Yes, yeah, so the Brian Stevenson School of Excellence um, is, kind of, is founded on one of the principles that Brian talks about a lot, which is proximity. Um, he speaks to the fact that you know, he could have just chosen to be an attorney, but it was actually when he started going into prisons, he started learning about the conditions, speaking to inmates firsthand, uh, that it changed his life trajectory. And so our thought was, how do we then take that notion of proximity and really try to create proximate experiences for students in our community? And the way that we plan to do that is through service learning. Um, we think that if we partner with local nonprofits, if we partner with doctor's offices and community organizations, and we build into the school day experiences where kids can go and learn about their communities firsthand, that ultimately that will create an environment where kids will then become the innovators that our community needs. So what kind of timeline are you looking at to get this actually working? Where is it gonna be? Yes, all great questions. <laughs> um, so uh, we are still finalizing location. Uh, our intention is to be uh, in the Milton, Georgetown area because that's where Brian's from. Um, and so there's some, some significance there. Um, additionally, we are in the process of applying with the state of Delaware um, in their charter process. And so our, our intention is to open the fall of 2021. Okay, so you have some fundraising to do and you have an event yes. coming up. Tell yes. us about that. Um, so we are really excited to announce that we have our first fundraiser uh, for the Brian Stevenson School um, this Saturday at six o'clock in Rehoboth at the Fairfield Inn. Uh, there'll be live music, actually, um, uh, Christy Taylor, Brian's sister's jazz band will be playing, which is really nice. Uh, we will also have an art auction. So we have five local artists who are presenting their art um, and get donating the proceeds to us. 
um, and we'll also have a silent auction as well, so it all should right. be a lot of fun. And there's all the information right there. Alana Berry with the Brian Allen Stevenson School of Excellence. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. And good luck. Keep Thanks. us up to date.